Hello again. The U.S. thought they could stop China's semiconductor industry with sanctions, but China just made a game-changing breakthrough in EUV lithography, and it's about to rewrite the rules of the global chip race. Here's how they did it: the U.S. chip ban and China's response. For years, the U.S. has used sanctions to block China's access to advanced semiconductor technology. Including EUV lithography machines from Dutch firm ASML, but China isn't waiting around. Instead, they're pioneering their own path. Recently, a team from the Harbin Institute of Technology won first prize at the Harbin Provincial Innovation Achievement Transformation Competition for their groundbreaking EUV light source project. This isn't just a win for China. It's a direct challenge to U.S. dominance in the chip industry. The breakthrough: discharge plasma EUV light source. So, what's the big deal? The Harbin team, led by Professor Zhao Yongpeng, developed a discharge plasma EUV light source that's completely different from Western methods. Here's why it's revolutionary: high energy efficiency. It converts electrical energy directly into plasma, making it more efficient than ASML's laser-produced plasma (LPP) method. Low cost. The technology is simpler and cheaper to produce, breaking the monopoly of extensive EUV machines. Compact size. It's smaller and easier to integrate into manufacturing processes. This breakthrough means China could soon produce EUV light sources domestically, bypassing the need for ASML's machines entirely. Why this matters for the global chip industry? EUV lithography is the backbone of advanced chip manufacturing. Without it. Producing chips smaller than seven nanometers is impossible. Right now, ASML is the only company in the world that can make EUV machines, but China's breakthrough could change that. Some might say this is the beginning of the end for U.S. dominance in the semiconductor industry. With China now developing its own DUV lithography machines and filing patents for EUV technology. They're on track to produce every chip the U.S. can, and more. This isn't about chips; it's about geopolitical power. With this technology, China could break U.S. sanctions by developing their own EUV machines. China can produce advanced chips without relying on Western technology. Lead the global South. Countries in the global south are eager for alternatives to Western-dominated tech. China's EUV breakthrough could make them the go-to supplier for advanced semiconductors. Secure Taiwan's future in a Taiwan liberation scenario. China could continue normal trade and proliferate its technology globally, even if the West imposes maximum sanctions. The bigger picture. A multipolar tech ecosystem. China's EUV breakthrough isn't just a win for them; it's a win for the world. While some might frame China's rise as disrupting global norms, the reality is that it's creating a more balanced and fair global tech ecosystem. By developing alternative technologies, China is challenging the West's monopoly and paving the way for a multipolar world. And with over one million PhD graduates every year, China's innovation engine is just getting started. This isn't about competition; it's about liberation. Countries in the global South now have a viable alternative to West tech, reducing their vulnerability to sanctions and blackmail. In a world where neither side can afford to alienate others, true multipolarity becomes possible. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs to see the real story behind China's rise. Don't forget to subscribe to Global Impulse for more fact-based insights into Asia's rise. Let me know in the comments what do you think about China's EUV breakthrough. 
Thanks for watching, and remember, stay informed, stay curious, and see you in the next video.